Italian Americans are a tribe. You may be surprised to hear this word used to define this community, but both in anthropology and in sociology, this term is now very commonly used and accepted to describe groups of people who feel they share something essential, a core, an identity collectively. A tribe can be identified in terms of culture, very often language, sometimes religion, sometimes geographical boundaries, the region where they live and they occupy. In America, normally tribes are defined in terms of where people come from geographically. Of course, there are different levels of specificity. To a non-Arab, all Arabs are Arab. To Arabs, there are, within their community, different tribes. And even within the specific tribe, there may be sub-tribes. So the term is relative, but at the same time, it is an absolute. And then there is the question, how do you know if you belong to a tribe? There are a variety of tests that one can apply. And this is purely my empirical theory. So it is my way of uh, examining the phenomenon and try to make sense of it. One of the characteristics of membership in a tribe is that you suffer when someone from your tribe is the victim of an injustice because he is or she is a member of that tribe. We talk about, for instance, racial discrimination or racial violence. If someone is a victim of violence and discrimination because of what that person is, we feel something very different and very special. We feel an affinity. We feel we have been wounded ourselves when we see injustice applied to those people because of who they are. Another empirical test could be the opposite, rejoicing in the achievements of someone who belongs to your tribe and is proud of expressing that membership. Sports, arts, Nobel Prizes, political triumph, Obama recently, we all know what that means. And there is another empirical test, and that is embarrassment or shame when somebody from our tribe does something egregious. So I know that when there are certain particular events like a terrorist attack, I know that there are people who fret and hope. I hope it's not one of us. At the same time, and allow me to be polemic, when we have mass shootings, 40, 50, 30, whatever number of people that are killed, and the killer is typically a 30 to 50 years old white male, I never heard any white male saying, I hope he's not one of us. In this context, I would say that white males 20 to 60 are not a tribe in America. Maybe in a place where they were a minority, they would see themselves as a tribe, but definitely not here. We could get into the difference between a tribe and a clan, or a clan and a family, and so forth. But those are more sociological and anthropological distinctions. So for the time being, we are going to limit ourselves to this statement that using the term tribe to define Italians is not offensive.